All right, hello and welcome everybody to my Flight Sim Fan video. We're back in DCS World in a bit of a different video today. I'm going to keep this very uh, short and simple, but I've got a lot of questions on how to make an ILS and TACAN on a carrier. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you could do create a new mission. And I'll, you can change uh, what countries go on what team. I'm just going to leave it to the default. Press OK. Let the mission load. Not a bad load screen to look at while you wait. All right, so we're in the map. This is the Persian Gulf. And uh, let's say we want to place a carrier somewhere. So we go to the boats. We have USA selected. You can name it whatever you want to keep track of it. Uh, we'll use the CVN-74, which has catapult, working catapults and working, uh, and working uh, raster hooks. And then we'll scale. I don't really touch this, but I'll just put on random. And you can place it wherever you like. On the uh, on the water, so place the boat wherever you want it, and I just gave a waypoint, so it just goes completely straight. Uh, depending on your wind, uh, you can't get carriers right now to move on the wind, so you'd have to have one static wind direction and one static direction for the carrier for headwinds. Uh, you can put any airplane you want on it. You just click the plane and you slot it on the deck. So let's say F-18. Just put it somewhere on there, and then we'll click. If this is cold and dark. Uh, hot, it started already from the ramp and then from the runway. This will be from the catapult. I usually do from catapult, it's just easier. But now the thing what we want to do is uh, get the ILS working on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. We'll just click, actually don't have to zoom in, we'll just click on the carrier. Zoom back out. We'll go to advanced waypoints. And here actually already has it, uh, activate TACAN. So we want TACAN. I'm going to set my uh, channel to 74. I'll hit uh, unit one i'll we'll get it name it here unit name cvn74 there we are there we are and it changes so you might have to name the unit as well just to keep track of it so our track and channel 74 now we want to make an ils go to add go to perform task go to perform command and then activate icls uh, channel 11 it could be whatever you'd like CVN 74. So it'll apply this channel of ILS to this group, this unit, this carrier that we want here. Um, so that's for waypoint 0, waypoint 1, and you do the same thing. So perform command, activate TACAN, so you press add, this is advanced waypoints, add, perform command, activate TACAN. TACAN is 74, you want CVN 74, that's good. Add ICLS channel. 1 1 CVN 74. So every waypoint you have, uh, you'll have to do that to it. Add the TAC and add the ILS. But that's how you add an ILS and TAC into a carrier. I hope you enjoyed this very short little video, and I'll see you in the next one. If this helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe.